Let's get right into it. Number 10. The Mariana Trench. Picture this. You're on a boat in the Pacific, feeling adventurous. Maybe you've watched too many Jacques Cousteau documentaries. You strap on some scuba gear and decide to dive straight down into the Mariana Trench. Seems like a fun flex, right? Oh yeah. I just went for a swim in the deepest place on Earth. Cute idea. Fatal execution. At nearly 11,000 meters deep, the Mariana Trench is basically Earth's basement. Dark, cold, and full of things that shouldn't exist. The pressure there isn't a little uncomfortable. It's like having 1,000 elephants stand on your chest while you're wrapped in an iron coffin. Even submarines built for research groan like horror movie doors down there. Your lungs, crushed, your blood, boiling and freezing at the same time because the temperature's just above freezing but the pressure's like a supervillain's squeeze. The only reason bizarre little creatures survive there is because they're basically built like water balloons with zero air pockets. You? You're a walking bag of pressurized gas and fragile bones. That's not going to end well. So yeah, the Mariana Trench is perfectly normal. For a nightmare planet. For you, it's an instant game over screen. Number 9. A Volcano's Caldera. You know those Instagrammers who hike volcanoes and take cute selfies? Yeah, don't be them. They're standing on top of a literal death trap. A Volcano's Caldera, basically the crater at the top, isn't just a cool photo op. It's a thin crust over a cauldron of lava, toxic gases, and steam vents hot enough to cook your organs like microwave popcorn. Here's the kicker. It can look totally safe. You're strolling on what seems like solid ground, but it's more like walking on a creme brulee. Thin, crunchy top layer hiding molten doom underneath. One misstep and you're a human fondue skewer. Even if you don't fall through, the invisible gases alone, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, can asphyxiate you faster than you can say, I regret this hike. Volcano calderas kill not by Hollywood-style lava eruptions, but by sneaky poison and ground collapses. You won't see it coming. You'll just get dizzy, fall over, and the volcano basically says, thanks for visiting. Perfectly normal geological feature. Perfectly horrible place for a human body. Number 8. The Vacuum of Space. You've seen astronauts floating around in movies, graceful and serene, like space ballerinas. Now, imagine doing the same thing, without the suit. Spoiler, you're not floating majestically, you're becoming human soup. Here's the sciency gut punch. Space isn't cold the way a winter night is cold. It's cold because there's literally nothing there. No air. No molecules. To conduct heat, your body loses warmth in the weirdest way. Radiation. Meanwhile, the lack of pressure makes your blood boil at body temperature. And no, you don't explode like a balloon in a cartoon. You just swell up like a lumpy marshmallow while your spit and tears bubble away. You might stay conscious for about 15 seconds, just long enough to think, wow, this was a terrible idea. Then your brain blacks out from lack of oxygen. And that's that. The vacuum of space is a perfectly normal thing. It's just 99.99999% of the universe. And yet, it's so hostile that if you ever set foot in it unprotected, you'd last shorter than an iPhone battery on 1%. Number 7. Chernobyl's Elephant's Foot If you ever visit Chernobyl, and first of all why, there's one spot that can kill you so fast it feels like a plot twist. Buried in the ruins of reactor number 4 is something called the Elephant's Foot, a massive blob of radioactive lava made from melted reactor core, sand, and concrete. Sounds like bad home decor, but it's basically a radioactive medusa. Look at it too long, and you're done. When it first formed, standing near it for even a few minutes meant guaranteed death in days. Even now, decades later, it's still hot enough to shave years off your life just by being in the same room. The radiation doesn't burn your skin, it fries your DNA. Your cells literally forget how to function, like a computer glitching into oblivion. And the wildest part? It doesn't look scary. It's just this ugly, cracked hunk of hardened sludge, totally normal in appearance. But if you touched it, your hand would blister and rot like you were in a zombie movie. So yeah, a lump of goo that kills faster than most weapons. Perfectly normal industrial accident. Perfectly lethal tourist trap. Number 6. Lake Natron, Tanzania. At first glance, Lake Natron looks like a serene pink lake straight out of a travel influencer's dream. Flamingos wade gracefully. The water shimmers red from algae. It's basically Instagram bait. But step inside and congratulations, you've walked into a vat of death juice. The water here is insanely alkaline, with a pH up around 10.5. That's the same ballpark as household ammonia. Your skin starts burning. Your eyes? Forget it. You'll be blind before you can say, wow, pretty lake. It's so caustic that dead animals that fall in get preserved like creepy statues, calcified into stony versions of themselves. Imagine tripping in and instantly becoming lawn decor. Why does it exist? Because volcanic activity dumps minerals like sodium carbonate into the lake, making it more caustic than the comments section of YouTube. Animals that live here, like the flamingos, have adapted. You? You're not adapted. You're meat in a soda bath. So yeah, Lake Natron looks like a screensaver. It's actually nature's version of a petrifying spell. Number 5. Mount Everest's Death Zone Climbing Everest sounds heroic until you learn about the Death Zone. That's the charming nickname for anywhere above 8,000 meters, 26,000 feet. 
where the air pressure is so low, your body basically starts eating itself alive. Here's the deal. There isn't enough oxygen to sustain human life long term. Your brain fogs, your organs starve, and even if you're sitting still, you're slowly dying. Your body literally begins breaking down its own muscle for fuel while you gasp like a fish on land. Add frostbite, dehydration, and exhaustion, and it's less conquer the mountain and more pay $70,000 to suffocate in slow motion. And the creepiest part? The mountain is littered with corpses of climbers who never made it down, perfectly preserved by the cold. They even have nicknames like Green Boots, and they serve as morbid trail markers for future hikers. Perfectly normal mountain. Totally not a place your lungs, heart, or sanity will ever forgive you for visiting. Number 4. The Danakil Depression, Ethiopia. If hell had a tourist center, it would be the Danakil Depression. This place looks like another planet. Neon acid pools, bubbling lava lakes, and geysers spitting toxic gas like the Earth just had Taco Bell. It's technically one of the hottest inhabited places on Earth, with average daily temperatures pushing 120 degrees 49 degrees. That's not grab a cold drink hot, that's your sneakers melt to the ground hot. The air itself isn't even friendly. Clouds of sulfur and chlorine gas drift around like invisible assassins, ready to choke your lungs or burn your eyes. The ground, crusty, unstable, sometimes collapsing into boiling water or acid ponds. Basically, every surface is trying to kill you in a new, creative way. And here's the kicker. People do go here. Scientists, adventurers, tourists chasing weird vibes, but hang around without proper gear. And you'll find out fast why survival guides politely suggest you stay the heck away. You'll either bake, choke, or dissolve. Take your pick. So yes, it's a perfectly normal geological feature of Earth, but to you, it's like visiting a planet that forgot humans ever existed. Number 3. The Amazon Rainforest Canopy At ground level, the Amazon is already a bad idea. Jaguars, anacondas, bugs the size of small drones, but up in the canopy? Oh, it's somehow worse. The canopy is 100 feet above the ground, a maze of slippery branches, vines, and hidden drop-offs. Fall? You're not getting up again. Stay put? You're dealing with bullet ants, whose sting is described as feeling like walking on fire while nails are being hammered into your flesh. Venomous spiders and wasps that make you wish for death instead of recovery. And then there's the heat. The canopy traps humidity like a steaming greenhouse. You sweat out liters of water an hour, which makes dehydration hit fast. Combine that with the constant threat of falling, stinging, or being eaten alive, and it's basically an extreme obstacle course designed by someone who hates you personally. Perfectly normal ecosystem teeming with life, but for you, it's like moving into a giant death Jenga tower full of bugs that want to audition for your nightmares. Number 2. The Stratosphere Airplanes make it look easy. Sit back, sip ginger ale, complain about legroom, and boom, you're cruising at 35,000 feet. But take away the plane, and suddenly the stratosphere isn't peaceful blue sky. It's a human kill zone. Up here, the oxygen is so thin your lungs may as well be sucking on a vacuum cleaner. Within seconds, you're gasping, your vision tunnels, and your brain waves start flatlining. Oh, and the temperature? Around 60 degree, 76 to go. That's freeze your spit mid-air territory. Then there's the radiation. At cruising altitude, pilots and flight attendants actually absorb more cosmic radiation than nuclear plant workers. You don't notice it because the plane shields you a little. Without that metal tube, you're basically sunbathing under the universe's worst tanning bed. So yes, the stratosphere is part of Earth, perfectly normal atmosphere, but if you ever end up naked in it, you won't be soaring with the birds. You'll be a popsicle with altitude sickness. Number 1. The ocean's surface. Wait, what? The surface? The beach vacation zone? The place where kids build sandcastles and retirees wear floppy hats? Yep, because the ocean, even the part we see every day, is the single most deceptive death trap on the planet. Here's why. Waves. A calm-looking wave can knock you down and roll you into a rip current faster than you can scream, help. Rip currents don't drag you under, they drag you out, pulling you into deeper water until exhaustion sets in. Most drownings happen right here, in water shallow enough for toddlers. Add in jellyfish stings, rogue waves that rise out of nowhere, or just plain hypothermia from swimming too long, and suddenly the normal ocean is just as lethal as its deep, dark cousins. Even sipping seawater while floating around can nudge you toward death by dehydration. The irony? The surface is the part we treat like a playground, but statistically, it's where humans die the most. The deep sea gets all the horror movie hype, but the surface is the ocean's polite little murder weapon. So yeah, you don't need the Mariana Trench, Lake Natron, or the Danakil Depression to finish you off. A sunny day at the beach will do just fine.